The process was bang on, Brian Smith, chief executive officer of the Toronto-based company, said. It took less than the government's target of 10 business days to process the recruit's application. Previously it could take several months. If the government says two weeks and it actually is, that will create a whole new process around it. As President Trump moves to crack down on the immigration of high-tech workers to the U.S., Prime Minister Trudeau's new global skills strategy is taking off. The Brazilian joins 2,000 other workers who entered Canada under the program from its start on June 12 to September 30, according to government data. It's more successful than we predicted, Canada's Immigration Minister Ahmed Hussain said. This program came from the business community. They identified a challenge and said you need to fix it. Those who are fast-tracked can apply to stay as long as three years and also for a permanent residency. Computer programmers, systems analysts, and software engineers, are the top three categories of workers to benefit so far. The bulk come from India, the same country that makes up the majority of US H-1B visas issued, followed by China and France. Word is spreading throughout Canada. biotech company Cyclica Inc. is preparing to use the system for the first time to recruit an American. As a candidate, Trump railed against the H-1B program. There are several regulatory and legislative efforts underway in the U.S. to reduce abuse in the program and the number of applications being challenged has jumped. Applications to the annual lottery for visas dropped this year for the first time in five years, reflecting concerns about a more restrictive approach, though applications still exceed the 85,000 visas available through the lottery. To those who have watched Canada lose talent to the U.S. over the years, the tables may be turning. Canada's fast-track visa program is just one part of Trudeau's drive to boost innovation. The government is also pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into venture capital and support for artificial intelligence, joining private money investing in the country's tech hubs in Waterloo and Toronto, Ontario, Vancouver, and Montreal. 2,000 people may be a small sliver when compared with the 320,000 newcomers Canada welcomed last year. It sounds like a drop in the bucket, says Daniel Mandelbaum of immigration firm Maman Sandaluk and Kingwell LLP. The idea is this is 2,000 of the best and brightest.